This is the Bob and Tom Show, coming to you live from the Napa Auto Parts Studios, where we have a big roster of guests. In fact, the next couple days, we're going to be talking to Jay Farrow. Coming up, we're going to be talking to Bob Saget today. Right now in the studio, Greg Hahn and Pat Godwin. Let's see now. I look over there. It's the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. It's Christy Lee. Hi, everybody. Uh, Josh is right over there. Hi. Good to see you, sir. Josh Likewise. on his way to Alabama this weekend. Iowa, but thank you. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Hey, Josh, the men's room here is no good. It isn't. Ah, there's no urinals. Just a bunch of ladies yelling, get the hell out. <laughs> <laughs> it's Greg Hahn, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, there's Chick McGee. There's our engineer, the legendary Ace Cosby. This is hey. Tom speaking. We're back. Hello, Christina, we've been interrupting you all morning. You've got a couple no. things you wanted to get to. Well, you know so- it is oh, National Ben well, Heard Day. I'm sorry, Pat wanted to play a song. Ben Hur. Be Heard Day. Oh, oh be I heard. thought we were going to have to have chariot races. Yeah. Oh, that'd be fun. Boy, how many horses were killed in that scene? Yeah. Have you watched that recently? Oh, my Lord. Oh, They're oh, all dead. No, all dead. Don't, don't. None of that's... None, <laughs> none of those <laughs> horses died in real life. Don't None, none of that, that is CGI, <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. yeah. I'm assuming there had to be a porno film called Ben Him. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a gay porn, I'm guessing. Just uh, Ben Him. Just everyone. asking. Or I, Ben, or ben Hur done that? Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, I like that. Well, that's very. Ben Hur over. How about that? That's oh, good too. yeah. Nice. Bent, bent her. You, well, don't, you can't say Ben. Never mind. Yeah, bent her. Hey, it's Be Heard Day. So do you want it's me to what? do it? Be sorry. Heard. I'm sorry. What? Because it's Be Hard Day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you won't See, stop. He's Wait. not listening no. and even on Be Heard no. Day. Didn't she say Be Hard Day? Is it Be Hard Day? Oh, God. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll comply. Knock, Christy, knock. lick your lips. What do you a got, bit. Pat? Knock, knock. <laughs> I got some. Who's there? What be, do you got, Pat? be Heard. No, He'll Be Hard. I'm sorry. Never mind. Be Pat. Hard. Be Hard who? Be Check. Hard with your. B. Arthur. All right. <laughs> so, uh, Pat, you, you brought your guitar back in. What's going on? Uh, it's Charlie Sheen's birthday. Let's do a tribute. Hey! Okay. You were great in platoon. Even better than Wall Street The hell I even liked hot shots The hell with the critics, they can be so mean <laughs> Charlie Sheen Your dad is Martin Sheen But your brother's Emilio Estevez <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> Charlie Sheen Is he trying to deny the sheenness of your genes? Cause you're a non-stop, call the cops, coke, snorting sex machine Charlie Sheen. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I, I gave you the wrong information. Charlie Sheen's birthday is not today, but he was fired from Two and a Half Men. On no. His How dare you make the, the song's invalid. I apologize. It's my fault. <sighs> I don't want people to think that we're giving out wrong information ever. There's going to be a Sheen. wing bag on that one. Hilarious cameo in the Super Bowl uh, yeah. commercial this year. I think Charlie's really cleaned himself up. Good. I think he's doing he didn't a lot, really look a lot like better. Himself. and well, he does have the hiv. Jesus. <laughs> is this day two oh, of the... Jesus, day Can two we of move the on? I have a question. I can't breathe. Uh, well, actually, I'll save my question. It's now inappropriate, okay. thanks to Josh. Yeah. Oh, Way to go, Josh. <laughs> I was going to ask... I was going to ask... Well, something. I guess we're going to have a meeting today. <laughs> <laughs> Got the thin. I was going to so. ask if they'd made a porno out of the Charlie Sheen movie, Eight Men Out. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be, A-T-E? Really, that'd be really disgusting. Yeah. I thought it was eight men in. It's a just no, it's uh, eight could men be. out. Uh, oh. there's probably this could be eight men in, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Eight men in. Except that would use the numeral eight. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Uh, is anybody one? getting these jokes? Uh, <laughs> does anyone recognize these I think the maximum jokes? would be one, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven. I think seven. You think so? Would be the maximum. Seven. Yeah. If you're doing seven. ear stuff. <laughs> no. Oh. No. D V D A. <laughs> What's that? So there's four. That's four guys. Uh, can I talk to our guest? Look who's oh. here. It's comedian Greg Hahn. Hey everybody, it's uh, great to be here. What are you doing out there at the work world? Uh, <laughs> they got tough jobs out there. Life or death situations. You're right. You know what I mean, yeah. first responders, even people world. that put in flooring in a house. That's your floor in your house. Oh. These are important jobs. Yes. Pat, what about our job? Ridiculous. Silly. No consequences. Childish. If we bomb. The people look at each other and go, he wasn't any good. Want to get some ice cream? That's it. <laughs> That's a worst yeah. That's a great job. Yeah, not the patient's heart stopped. No. No, yeah. yeah it's much nicer. Greg Hahn, by the way, on his way to Peoria's Jukebox Comedy Club Friday and Saturday. Then the 23rd of uh, March, it's Modesto, California State Theater. And then May 23rd through the 25th, Cincinnati's Go Bananas Comedy Complex. Modesto! The great Greg Hahn. Oh, Christina, what did you have to get to over there? I'm sorry. Well, for years, the so-called G-spot has been described as the holy grail of uh, female sexual pleasure. 
But according to the BBC, for many women and their partners, the quest to find the so-called G-spot has ended simply in frustration. Huh. There's yes. some research that suggests this elusive erogenous zone supposed to be located <laughs> on the front vaginal wall may not even exist. Er right? Erogenous. Erogenous. <laughs> you go in and hook up. There was an odd twist. The G-spot was almost named the Whipple Tickle. After, Whipple Tickle? After, after Mr. Bev Whipple. No, Who was after Dr. Dick Whitman. Was that his name? <laughs> the consummate lover. <laughs> After Dr. Beverly Whipple, the academic oh. who championed its existence, it was decided to name it after the German scientist, Dr. Ernest Grafenberg, who claimed so in 1950 a mm -hmm, that a sensitive area existed in the vaginal wall, but yes. the name was coined by Dr. Whipple and John Perry during the 1970s. Hmm. Well, the Whipple tickle. Yeah. That has no scientific. <laughs> Sounds like <laughs> Jerry Lewis in a lab. Oh, no, the Whipple tickle, Ivan. <laughs> yo, the 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 Whipple thing. tickle. Well, even Professor Beverly Whipple said someone proposed the name, of course, Whipple tickle, and she disagreed. She yeah. insisted they decided to name it after Dr. Grafenberg because it did sound a little more. Okay. I think academic, if you will. Yeah. And didn't we determine there's, isn't there a band, Grafenberg uh, Generator or something? Uh, I don't know. The Raffenberg Generator. No, oh, uh, wait a minute. Uh, uh, apparently, it's something else. I see. It was an obscure German band. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I was close, apparently. Oh, just just a little live research. Josh, you seem to know a lot about the G-Spot. I'm a fan. Josh. In fact, off air, Josh gave us a little demonstration and a lecture. Yeah. He's a consummate uh, professional. Uh, thorough. thorough and generous thorough lover. Thorough and yeah. generous lover. Yeah, yeah. sorry. It's a, a Van de Graaff Generator is the name of the... Uh, the band? Electronic band from uh, 20 years ago. Okay, I sorry. see. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, 30 years ago. Sad story today in the news. Uh oh. Billionaire diamond trader Ahud Ari Lenyad has died while undergoing surgery to enlarge his penis. Oh. The 65 year old billionaire died of a heart attack at a private Paris hospital no where he was undergoing the penis enlargement procedure. Everyone, everyone thinks this guy's, this is perfect for this idiot. Belgian yeah. media reported that Mr. Lanyard, who was very short in height, was stricken with a substance and was injected into his penis, triggering his death. Oh, man. Yeah, so apparently they, yeah. His company, Omega Diamonds, has confirmed the death. Wow. <laughs> what was the substance? It says it's, he, he was stricken when a substance was injected into his penis. Arsenic. I don't know what substance it was. <laughs> Plaster. <laughs> Plaster. I don't know exactly what I, they Plaster. used. I think we've, oh. we've read about these before. It was, it's real big in Miami. I think they, they, excuse me, I think they inject your own body fat and it's supposed to add girth. It's not inflate a tire. It's not a picture of this guy. He's one of these guys. He's got, he's had, uh, you know, Fix a, a, flat. a million <laughs> hair transplants and, you know, he's. Yeah, I read that he has a big. He had a big Napoleon complex. He was kind of a jerk. Oh, really? Yeah, yes. but not not to say that his this he deserved to go this way. I'm just saying. No. If you're a billionaire, and you've got to do that, really, you should be happy as a billion. I could be happy for like seventy five thousand bucks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure. Sure. spread out over a few here, years. Even. Here, here, yeah, yeah. 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 He's Once greedy. I hit seventy five thousand, I'm out of here. I mean, does anybody feel sorry for this guy? He goes in to have penis I think it's enlargement sad. surgery. No, it's the guy's pathetic. Well, I think so. Well, I bet there are some men out there that could really, like, you know, the micro penis or whatever they they could micro really phallus, micro phallus, They could really use this sort That's of surgery. The pamphlet on your desk said that. I, <laughs> he might have been a funny guy. I was trying to keep that off uh, off the record, but uh, you know, I was sitting here. I was sitting here wondering how how he's going to get to it. Uh, 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 I'm, nice I'm hung it. like a hangnail. <laughs> <laughs> like what is it? Like a button on a down coat. <laughs> Sorry, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, now uh, coming up, Greg Hahn and Kostaki Economopoulos. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Once again, thanks for joining us here in the Napa Auto Parts studio. Chick, right there. Josh, over there. Hi. Ace, our engineer. Hey. In the interview lot, Kostaki Konimopoulos and comedian Greg Hahn. I like dating girls that are 10 years younger than I was 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> we got to do math. Uh, Can we you. tell a bad gig story or no? Uh, sure. In Later one on? second, let me introduce oh. uh, Christy Lee at the Navy Federal <laughs> Credit Union News Desk. <laughs> Now, uh, yes, Greg, your story, please. Hey, hey, Kostaki, let's talk about bad gigs. I got one. I got a story. Oh, <laughs> uh, I got some stories. <laughs> okay, I was doing a show. Once you want to hear a story? Talk. Yes, please. I was doing a, a show in Washington, D.C., and the lady in the front row was drunk. She kept opening her umbrella as I was performing. <laughs> Just to call attention to herself. I happen to have a big glass of ice water on stage. Uh -huh. I thought, you know what's going to be pure genius? I'm going to grab the ice water, bounce it off the umbrella. Uh -huh. So the umbrella opens. I throw the ice water. 
As I'm throwing it, I see our umbrella start to close. Oh. <laughs> Big block of ice and water. It misses her. <laughs> Nails the lady behind her. Oh, oh. Show over. Oh, Show over. <laughs> so I leaped Show off stage over. and I said, oh, man, oh, completely horrible. You know, horrible. Her face got better. I said, I'm going to fly you down to Orlando, Florida. You remember Lake Eola in Orlando? That amphitheater, Kostaki? No, I never did that one. Okay, thanks for the help. Anyways, <laughs> you should have lied. I, I fly you. her down. Her and her husband, they're sitting in the front row. I'm out performing. It's an outdoor arena or uh, amphitheater. Anyways, a friend of mine rolls a basketball out on stage just to be funny. Oh, God. <laughs> I thought, I'm athletic. I'll pop the ball. I'll kick underneath the ball. I play golf. I'll yeah. kick it over the crowd. That's right. I kick the ball right into her face. <laughs> no. I told her, you got to stop coming to my show. Oh. You're ruining my sets with your face. Come on. You know, 50% of that was true. Uh, <laughs> face. I'm, I'm telling stories now. Gather around, everybody. <laughs> okay, keep Uncle on that Greg, one. what else you got? <laughs> That's about it for now. Okay, uh, Greg Hahn, uh, once again, uh, in the studio with us, um, bringing the thunder to Peoria's uh, Jukebox Comedy Club Friday and Saturday. The first part was true. Modesto, like March 23rd at the State Theater. Yeah. We do I did. I was going to say, I did a Halloween show one time in Portland, Oregon, and about uh, maybe 10 or 15 of the audience members were dressed up for Halloween. Oh. Sure. And I came out, uh, uh, there were there were two people <laughs> with the full clown makeup and the hair and everything, <laughs> and uh, they and they were in the front row. And when I came out, I go, I can't tell you guys how many times the MC came off and go, watch out for those two effing clowns in the front row. <laughs> and here you are. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Show. Show, <laughs> go. Give it so did, you, did you throw water on them? <laughs> <laughs> no, no one. No one's oh. face was injured in my tail. Hit him with a basketball. <laughs> okay. No one was Destroyed. flown to a theater. <laughs> uh, Christy in Lee, Florida. what's happening? Well, we, quit, real quick, we have a junior windbag letter. All okay. right. Uh, for your information, <laughs> Face Invaders is a movie from 2006. <laughs> Consider yourselves informed. Oh wow! Well, so there is a porn named Face Invaders. Wow. I thought I made it up, but the wow. fine folks at in Chatsworth or wherever. <laughs> <laughs> Came up with it first. I you, hope there isn't a Schindler's fist. <laughs> oh, I guarantee there isn't. Uh, <laughs> there, I was an open micer when we were uh, when we were working together at the very beginning of my career. Who had a great joke. I, I would like to give him credit, but I don't remember his name. I don't think he's still doing stand up. But he had a great line about uh, Schindler's List. He said, "I like it at the end when they did all the outtakes, <laughs> and then he would act out a few things of like oh, saying Heil oh, Hitler and fumbling oh, over it. Oh and boy, it. yeah, I can see why they didn't. <laughs> yeah. wow. That career kind of derailed." <laughs> Not still doing stand-up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to change the subject. Um, we have an update on the Oregon guy who survived on Taco Bell, the hot sauce packets, he while getting them. stuck in the snow. He didn't survive because of the... 36-year-old <sighs> Jeremy Taylor was found Friday after getting stuck in a national forest for five days, and following the incident, he wrote on Facebook, Taco Bell fire soft saves lives. No, it doesn't. Your own body did. <laughs> Why are you picking on this guy? He because and his dog. Are... He, wanted to, he wanted to make this a story. I it's kind of sweet and fun. Who gets lost in the woods over the age of 10? Well, there was Taco a lot Bell. of four feet of snow or something. A lot of he wood. On, he was on some lumber <laughs> yard. This is the guy who was on the train. He was taken out Trail. by the train. Oh. No, oh, he isn't. Taco he ate a Bell. a bunch of packets of hot sauce? Yeah, Who's he had guy? five. But the Taco Five. Bell people said that uh, they are stepping up and giving him free Taco Bell for a year. <laughs> oh, what a... Because this guy said he got lost in the woods? No, this, the, I, will, I will never eat a Taco Bell again. Wait, a chick. Until, <laughs> just calm down, chick. Let's not be ridiculous. Let's not be, yeah, hold it. Until, until I get noon. the same exact deal. <laughs> 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 Taco Bell what. said in a statement, we know our sauce packets are amazing, but this takes it to a whole new level. We've sent him a well-deserved care package, a year's supply of Taco Bell, and of course, all the sauce packets that come with it. They've gotten a million dollars worth of publicity on yeah. this. Yeah, smart, smart Taco Bell Send him Taco. a map. That's what he needs. Yeah, he needs kidding. a map and needs a bidet. <laughs> you know what I like? <laughs> he needs something, something to cool down that bunghole. <laughs> That's all you ate for or five least, days. Or at least one of those detachable shower head things. Oh, <laughs> you, sure. can get, you can get the undercarriage. Do you have one of those, Chick? Uh, I do not. I don't care for those. I like the standard uh, Oh, feel too good, head. do they? Wash, you got to clean no, your tooth. I have one of those in the guest shower, yes. So do I, and I don't know how to See, unhook it to make yeah. it. Yeah, right. I what don't. Do <laughs> it's for the dogs because we have a little, it's yeah, a, right. like a doggy bathtub no, type. No, 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 no,
This yeah. is this this clip on hand. I know what you're talking about. You get down there, get the down and dirty do in the that. undercarriage. Undercarriage. Sure. So yeah. you you can't get it off of the uh, where it's uh, where it's hanging no. because it's too tall. Sophie and I were just talking about this. We need because it was put in new and we. Did Sophie bring no it up? No one showed me. <laughs> they screw do it, it on. Don't know how to get it. <laughs> Does your daughter really want to get access yeah, to that? She, thing? Uh, learned, I got news for you. Learning yeah. a little bit about herself. <laughs> <laughs> Our amazing body. Can I tell you something? That's how I learned. The shower, your, <laughs> that, your daughter? What was it? The shower pick? No. What was the first thing that came? What the, was uh, that? Not the water pick. That's a two. That seems that? a little strong. Well, no, that's absolutely how, the like, water how those pick. things are so... What was that shower well, head? It was the pulsing something? Or... It came out in like 1975. Yeah. What was that? Pulsonometer. No, there was a name was for it. it. Pretty sure. Never mind. Uh, Josh, let's just say you were this guy that got stuck in the woods in his car. Right. <laughs> Oh, this wasn't the train guy? No. no. He was in his car. In the woods in his car? <sighs> yeah, he's an idiot. He Trees was on f- some kind of lumber trail, whatever you call it. <laughs> uh-huh. What was it? Right? I don't yes. even think this is. I don't even yes. think this happened. This happened solely to get free Taco Bell for a year. No, the guy was... The guy survived on his own body fat. The sauce had nothing yes. to do with How it. How long yes. was he out there? Five days. You can survive. You can easily now, survive he, five days. Not necessarily eating. without water. Right. But he could drink the snow. Isn't there some formula like 77, seven hours, seven That's days, exactly right. 77, seven, seven. Here's the story. Um, <laughs> Thank you, 36-year-old Jeremy Taylor became stuck in deep snow on a U.S. Forest Service road. Yeah. Mm. Slept in the car, tried to walk out, yeah. had to return to the car with his dog, and he said Taco Bell, fire sauce saves lives. He was just being having some fun. So it's a sweet, happy story. <laughs> How'd the dog do? The dog, dog is fine. Dead is a oh, that's good. The, the dog, dog is, is not, not dead. dead. Is a <laughs> oh, oh, I read a different story. <laughs> God, the guy. If you're <laughs> if you're out hiking in Italy, yeah. we have a story. How do I get free Pizza Hut for a year if I'm out <laughs> hiking in Italy? <laughs> Officials there are warning tourists they could face steep fines if they're caught hiking in flip flops. Really? Cinque Terre National Park has announced that fines of up to two thousand two hundred dollars will be levied against park visitors found hiking the narrow trails in flip flops or other unsuitable footwear. I see. Why? Well, I'll tell you why. As I, as someone who has broken her leg in Italy, wearing a flip flop, not wearing a flip. I'm pretty wearing, sure I wasn't wearing a flip flop, but I'm pretty sure you just said food wear. Food wear. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was in Sweden. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> Rescue teams have become overwhelmed with calls or help for help for visitors who attempted the difficult paths without adequate footwear. What a crock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at this footwear, Josh. I like this footwear. Oh, those are those kicks hey, are great. Those shoes. This coming Monday, so check that out now. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show, coming to you live from the Napa Auto Parts Studios, of course. Handsome guests in the room today, right, Christy? Yes, very handsome. Okay. Who's Leading more, the witness. Who's more handsome? <laughs> I'm not going to play this game. <laughs> Please go ahead. <laughs> they both sat up. Oh, they're both getting their both postures both ready. Peacocking. Make sure, they're, make sure I have one chin for this. <laughs> there are very well, well. There are four very handsome men in this room. Let's take attendance. Ace. Oh, time to check. rock. Hey, man. Time to rock, Ace. Kostaki. There's six of us. Greg. That was the joke. Uh, <laughs> Josh, Tom. Okay. Can the girls go to my dating app? You got a dating app? It's just Greg. There's a picture of me. <laughs> swipe right. Another picture of me. Swipe left. Still me. <laughs> it's just Greg. That's going to work. <laughs> it's just Greg. There you go. I love it. It's <laughs> just Greg. It's <laughs> like a sitcom. Yes. Just Greg. Tonight at 8 on the CW. Sounds unwatchable. Tonight on uh, it's yeah. just Greg. His neighbors move again. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a new wacky neighbor. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why everybody keeps leaving. <laughs> uh, that's uh, that's the Navy Federal Credit Union news desk. Do we have time for one more story? And that's Christy Lee. Uh, yeah, sure. A Florida man using a conch shell to play the song Tequila took the top prize at the 57th <laughs> annual <laughs> conch <laughs> shell blowing contest. I, 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 w- I would pay to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> a contest held in Key West, put on by the Old Island Restoration Foundation, featured more than 50 participants blowing into conch shells to make music. Wow. I would like, I tried to find. <laughs> Finally, a contest that could make you miss the kazoo. <laughs> <laughs> you mean There you go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, there is audio. Yeah, yeah There's I just no found time it to too. Get it now. Yeah. Well, hopefully we can hear that tomorrow. Yeah, the we'll 57th to. annual right. conch 
shell wow. contest. Wow. Wow. Lord of the Flies came out and everybody wanted to play the conk. There yep. it is. You've really got to hit the end hard in that word conk. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Because in Key West, especially. You don't say conk festival right. <laughs> you draw a crowd. <laughs> There's a festival. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Key West for the uh, Hemingway thing. No, you you're keep not. Saying you say it all the time. You said that every year for the last Did 10 you say, years. Is it, called, is it actually called the conch blowing contest? <laughs> a Florida man used a conch shell to. Yes, 57th annual conch shell blowing oh, contest. Conch shell blowing. Shells in there. So, how many, okay. how many conch blowers were there? 50. <laughs> <laughs> there were 50. <laughs> Time That's to uh, move on. We have a lot to get to here. Oh, uh, gosh, we do. Are they like harmonicas where you blow into the conch, but you can also suck conch? Sure you can if you want. <laughs> Time because now there for... are no rules, Josh. <laughs> nice. Just, there are no rules. Time now for Things We Learned, <laughs> sponsored by Granger. granger has got your back when it comes to the safety and industrial supplies that help keep your facility running. Get what you need when you need it at Granger.com. <laughs> That's a not a conch shell. Oh, um, we'll have it. We'll you, have you, it. you raise a good question, though, Josh. I'm looking at this. Uh, looking at this video. This is pretty amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The uh, the uh, the Key West Foundation 57th Annual Conch Shell Blowing Con. There's a guy in a T-shirt, best blower in Key West. No. <laughs> oh, that's he's, quite. He's not, that's he's not, different. Not, not in the contest. <laughs> no, no, he isn't. What's going on there? Uh, <laughs> we learned a lot today in today's show. We learned that uh, I don't know how to play checkers. Sorry, you missed that. What uh, a weirdo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <I> <laughs> I don't know. I just never learned. I, um, <laughs> let's see. We learned that Christy today polka dot panties uh, because <laughs> yesterday she was wearing her uh, leopard leopard skin panties and went to a, the zoo for a special uh, meeting. So we've discovered that she likes to coordinate her panties with her activities. Well, yeah. not necessarily, but maybe. Okay. All right. We found that unfortunately you can buy body bags online. I didn't need to know that. Mm -hmm. Today's National Cereal Day, so uh, have your favorite cereal if you please. Um, let's see. We have great guests tomorrow. Very excited about tomorrow's show. Today we had great guests. Yeah. Nick, Nick Griffin, <laughs> Reno Collier, and Jay Farrow was tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, but tomorrow. Yeah. Well, I, Tomorrow's tomorrow. the day. Yeah. <laughs> when you said that. No, I did just try to kill a little bit of, you know, fun things are coming up. Uh, uh huh. Let people know not to go anywhere. We have some very exciting things uh, happening. <laughs> some exciting you, things happen today, of course. You've been going with, a long time. with, uh, with Greg Hahn and Kostaki. See you guys. This is the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs>